You're watching New Orleans Saints now. I am Tom Downey, and we are here with the entire seven-round NFL draft grades for the New Orleans Saints from round one all the way through the entire NFL draft rounds, five, six, and seven. First, an overview of what the Saints did in case you, like many people, don't care about round seven. I have no life, so I do care about the seventh round. Two great first round picks. Chris Olave, the Ohio State receiver, who will be a very good player for New Orleans. Trevor Penning, two day one starters in round one. A lot of buzz of the Saints won a QB or a receiver and left tackle, and they got both. And credit to New, to New Orleans. They read the field right. The receiver run happened in the middle of that Alave pick. Good job there. Alante Taylor is a safety corner hybrid. I would assume safety is the role he plays for the Saints. I love the, De the DeMarco Jackson pick in round five. Number 161 o overalls. They have the hiccups, excuse me. Uh... Great depth at linebacker, one of my favorite fifth-round picks. And Jordan Jackson, round six, number 194 overall. I will be honest with you guys, I did not get to Jordan Jackson because I have a, a newborn at home, so I can't get to every player. But it's the sixth round. There's no such thing as a bad sixth-round pick. So overall, I want you guys to grade the Saints 2022 NFL Draft class. Now, don't worry about future picks traded away. Just focus in on what they did in this year's draft class. A, B, C, D, or F. How do you feel about what the Saints put together? This question is going to be the pinned comment on today's video. So, if by chance you get the ad break here on YouTube. Take advantage of it. Head down there. Let me know. A, B, C, D, or F. While the ad break plays, get your votes in for me. I'm going to give it a B-. minus. Now, my grades are normally sometimes pretty rough. Uh, sometimes I'm right. Uh, the Cowboys, Tristan Hill draft, you should listen to me. The Saints, Alvin Kamara, Ryan Ramchek draft, good thing to listen to the Saints in the end. A is great, B is good, and in the end, a good draft by the New Orleans Saints. Chris Olave is a great compliment for fellow Ohio State graduate Michael Thomas, a route runner with great top-end speed who gets open. Fluid and smooth is how you should define Chris Olave. Doesn't have power. Doesn't have strength, as you can kind of see on the photo made by executive producer, superstar producer Sam Brown. He's a skinny guy. It's okay when he rubs run sub 4.4 40-yard dash. Calvin Ridley is my player comp here. He's going to get open. He's going to be a viable, awesome wide receiver two for you. Could maybe be a, a low-end wide receiver one for you as well. With the way the draft went, I wasn't number 11 overall on Alave. You had to take him where you took him or he was not going to be there on the board for you. So zero complaints on the Chris Alave pick for the New Orleans Saints. He'll be a great compliment off, off of the, not a bad thing, slant boy Michael Thomas because he wins on slants. He dominates there. There's your other great receiver for New Orleans. Trevor Penning is the other first-round pick. I could have seen him go in top 10, and he goes number 19 overall. There's a lot to, to be patient with with Trevor Penning. The size is awesome, 6'7", 325. Bully ball is the way to describe this football player. He's mean. He is going to be an a-hole to the opposing defensive lineman, and that's a good thing. Now, there are times in which he is too much of an a-hole. He got beat more than you want in the pass game at Northern Iowa. At his best, as a run blocker, I think you're going to give the ball a lot to Alvin Kamara this year, so I'm just fine on that front. 
you got to dial him back a little bit. After the whistle, even during the whistle, he plays too rough, too mean. You might have seen the senior bowl clip of him blocking his guy and throwing him down to the left into his quarterback's legs. Never, ever, ever, ever do that as a left hook. That's a huge no-go. But I would rather have to bring somebody back down versus ramp them up. That that's you would rather have someone who's too hyped than not hyped enough. Best tackle on the board for me. Had to take him there. No complaints on that front. Who is your favorite Saints draft pick this year? Is it Alave, Penning, or someone we haven't gotten to quite yet? Let me know in the comments section who your favorite pick was this year. In a bit of a surprise, uh, round two pick, no QB, which had been linked heavily to New Orleans. Alante Taylor out of Tennessee was the pick here for the New Orleans Saints. A safety corner hybrid, six foot and change, 199, 32 inch arms. If he hits, a big if. Some Devin McCourty vibes, kind of fits that cornerback safety hybrid there. Was a wide receiver back when he signed with the Volunteers. Straight line speed, 4.3640 yard dash. I had a fourth round grade on him. I didn't love his film at corner and then had playing safety either. He's only played DB for about four years and that shows up on the film as well here. High upside pick. Got to be patient there. The Saints, between, you know, uh, the San the Stanford kid at corner, Marshawn Lattimore, between my boy Chauncey Gardner-Johnson, overall have a pretty good uh, track record. Even Mar uh, Marcus Williams as well at safety. And Marcus May, who they signed, have a good track record at adding defensive back talent there. Uh, Paulson Adiba was the corner they added. P.J. Williams at safety. Maybe you make Chauncey Gardner your full-time nickel. Make Alante Taylor a safety. We'll wait and see how that all plays out. Saints fans, get the 6,000 subscribers here on our Saints channel. We are just over 500 away. It's very simple here. The more subscribers we get on our Saints channel, the more videos we can do for you guys. So if you haven't already, hit that big red button. Go subscribe YouTube.com slash Saints today. I promise you that link will be in the comment section and in the description. If you want the best and almost daily at this point Saints YouTube coverage, you guys have come to the right spot. Subscribe right now at YouTube.com slash Saints today. One of my favorite day three guys, DeMarco Jackson, the pick here out of Appalachian State. He is undersized. Not even 6'1", 233, good arm length there. The shedding of blockers is not his game. But as a special teamer, as a weak side run and chase linebacker, I love this pick. You got him late in day three. He was 150 overall for me. In part because he was playing against Appalachian State football players. He looked so incredibly fast out there. Darren Lee is my comp athletically from him. Sometimes he gets like, he, he, he thinks he knows where the ball is going. And he's like, I'm going to pursue to the stretch play. And he's at a position on a bootleg action. And that, that happens. You need reps and time to grow from that standpoint there. He's almost too aggressive on the field, but... Hill, I think, will tighten that up in the NFL. No real major medical concerns. Man coverage, not his thing. Zone coverage is worst case. I think you have yourself a core special teamer. I had a fifth-round grade on Jackson. Overall, he was, as I checked my board here, he was number 150 overall. That's a pretty damn good value pick there for the New Orleans Saints. Go full homer if you want to here. Did the Saints win or lose this draft? W for win, L for they they lost. They had a, a a loss on that one. The grammar's not great. Every, everyone blame producer uh, Trace on that one. W or L? I'll go more towards the W than the L side. 
but I want to hear from you. Sound off in the comments section. Jordan Jackson, one of the final defensive linemen who, and I will never lie to you guys, simply put, I just, I didn't have time to get to because I'm just going to blame my newborn baby girl on uh, all of that because it gets me out of, like, all kinds of problems and troubles that, like, oh, I didn't do this guy? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't do that guy. Uh, Air Force player, you love the sack production uh, on that side with 7.5 TFLs. 6'4 and a half, 294 overall, 12.5 uh, TFL, had a couple uh, second team all Mountain West. When he's engaged, he doesn't really know what to do. He's a little bit lost on that standpoint there, but the frame is great. Uh, double checking my the Dame Brugler Beast guy. I'd love to see it. 33 and 3 4 and 4 fourth inch arms. Quickness is good. Three technique. That's the role Jackson will play for the Saints. Late day three, sixth, seventh rounder. There has never been, I've changed my rules to add sixth round pick. There has never been a bad sixth or seventh round pick. The Saints selections in total. Chris Olave, Trevor Penning, Elante Taylor, DeMarco Jackson, who I love at 161, and Jordan Jackson at number one. 94 overall only five picks for the Saints this year a lighter class overall but heavy on the first two round pick which in the end is what matters the most before we go here on chat sports rate the Saints draft one to 100 100 of course means you aced it one means it's the worst draft in NFL history it's Definitely closer to 100 than a 1. Sound off for me in the comments section. 